How's it going guys? Steve Riggs, Anarchy Audio Works. Welcome to this quick start tutorial and overview of Anarchy Comp. I'll be doing some more in-depth tutorials on Anarchy Comp very soon, so please go over to our YouTube channel and subscribe so you don't miss any of those. This video is just going to be a real quick overview just to get you started. Okay, so Anarchy Comp is a versatile compressor suitable for use on any kind of individual sound, mix bus or master bus, and its 55 preset strong library has the perfect starting points that you need to get your sounds under control in any situation. As well as all the features of regular compression, with its two dedicated wet and dry controls, it can also be used as a parallel compressor. It's perfect for processing any kind of sound, whether it be electronic, acoustic or live recordings, and has solid presets for every instrument and scenario. With the built-in screen, you have a visual representation of how your sound is getting processed in real time as you tweak by comparing the live animated waveforms with both the dry signal and the process signal, giving you accurate feedback of the transient information as well as the overall level of gain reduction being applied, making it easier than ever before to keep your levels in check. The compressor itself has a really clean, transparent sound and its built-in saturator adds warm analog character and can also be used to time harsh transients on snares, toms or anything else, giving your mix punch and heaviness while still keeping it cohesive. It's also got a low-cut EQ for the wet signal, which is perfect for using on overheads or room mics or any other type of sound, just to roll off any unwanted bass frequencies by removing the low-end mod from the mix without the need of loading up a separate EQ plugin. You can also resize the interface by clicking on the settings icon, choosing the size from the drop down menu, and if at any point you need to go back over this tutorial again, you can click on the quick start tutorial button here, and there's a few more links as well to find out more about James and myself who built the plugin. There's a link here to go and grab your free bonus 1GB sample library, and please don't forget to go and check out all of our other plugins in the range by clicking the get more plugins button here. All of our plugins are on sale at the moment for a very limited time, so go and check out the link and grab them at the low prices while you still can. So thanks for watching this quick overview video, hopefully it's given you enough information to get you started. If you do have any more questions then you're quite welcome to email me at support at anarchyaudioworks.com and if you want to share any of the tracks that you've created using Anarchy Comp or any of our other plugins or libraries then please feel free to tag us on Facebook because we'd love to hear what you've been working on and feature you on our page. But that's it for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming in-depth tutorials. And thanks again for watching. See you soon. Just to say I'm really excited about using these Anarchy Audio Works plugins. They look fab, sound even better. Um, so I'll be using these on all my future uh, upcoming productions and also using them on my first uh, full feature film soundtrack. The Vercolator Pro, which is basically an all-in-one audio suite for your vocal processing. It's very rare that you find one that just meets all your needs, and this this one does. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. So there's no more, you know, messing about with multiple plugins, and you know, I, I can really recommend that. This plugin saved me so much time when Steve sent it over for testing. I do a lot of vocal work, and I was working on a lot of individual channels and a lot of individual processes. This has combined everything that I did all in one place, and it's super light on CPU. Yeah, I've been using the Anarchy Audio Works plugins. Um, really happy with them. Um, Lots of cool features, cool presets, and uh, you know, overall, just really easy to use. Um, yeah, really enjoying it at the moment, and I will continue to use it.